training and he wanted to start a magazine and he had this little hand press. And uh, here goes Chet showing those legs. Dave showing his. Maybe I'll try to catch that. Let me see if I did. It wasn't easy to edit this. I needed a professional machine and I, I ask you to bear with me that I didn't get it because this is another classic shot here. Whoops. Wow. It's like trying to uh, trying to shoot a moving target. There we go. We catch it. Just a fabulous. That again, what a package. Whole thing. All right, now we go in, uh, whoa, I want to say Sam Martin comes to mind for this guy. Another one of the names from the, uh, from the magazine. And again, to be there and seeing these guys in person uh, after you've, you know, ad admired their pictures for so long, it was just, uh, I guess it's like any person who idolizes someone, when, when you get to go to the game and see them in, in action rather than on the TV or just reading about them in the magazines, it certainly is a special event. But... Boy, I guess I wanted to get enough footage of him. I don't know what that was all about. Some of the fellows from down in the Caribbean, uh, and this is one of them, they suffered because of the lighting, obviously. I'm not sure how the judges were able. This isn't doing it completely uh, justice, but the lighting really did not give them a fair, a fair uh, shot. Jumping back again, Rock Stonewall. This was uh, De uh, Rick Wayne. Old Ricky Wayne, piano player, and he's written a book that I'd love to get my hands on. Jumping back to the competitors, Bill McArdle, the uh, secondary Larry Scott, I always call him, because they both had that hairdo, and I never could get him. I got him confused till I got down below the neck, and then as soon as I saw the physique, it was no question then. But another uh, California, great tan, looking good. His rock stone wall, very cut up, had that very, very... Thin set. Look at the pec separation. You didn't see a lot of that back then, but uh, he sure had the definition. Uh, yeah, fabulous. He looked good. I'm not sure how he came in. Now this is Earl. Is this Earl Manin? It is. Here we go. Now watch this. When the music was playing and he snaps his hand down, watch the pec, the pec cut. Bam! And he got those rips right across the top there. I remember that it was. He, he had great music. It was some kind of. Uh, uh, orchestra, the other guys are playing maybe a little bit of rock and roll and stuff, and old Earl came out, because I think he's from England, and he came out and had this just uh, classic music, and that one thunderous crescendo, and he snapped that hand down and got that peck cut, dealt, or peck, I'm sorry, cuts in his pecs. I haven't seen much of him, maybe ten years ago he was in a movie, played the bad guy, he had to use an outboard as a weapon to, to terrorize somebody, uh, I hope he's doing well. Here we go with a little bit of lat spread. In the words of Joe Weeder, Bondor lats. And that was certainly a set of them right there. Look at the triceps, too. Yeah, he looked good. See how I was talking about the light kind of, you know, the shadows in the back? The, the should have been just a little better angle. Um, so if any of you are going to have a bodybuilding contest and you need me to come out and give you information on how to do it, I'll be happy to. Whoa, more of that ripped. Looking good, Earl. That's why he won the universe that night. Looking good. Ah, here's Rick Wayne. Man. I was saying, I think, and I jumped around. He's written a book. I'd love to get my hands on it. I don't know... Uh, you know, it's one of those things that gets in print and then it's out and then only a few people that are lucky have it. He looked great that night. I think he won maybe short man class. They were doing, I think, short, medium, and tall. Three trophies per class. So it was nine total and then the overall winner. And they might have done a most muscular. And uh, They didn't do body parts, but they might have done a most muscular. If not this year, they did it the next year for sure. You folks, when you're watching this on the video, if you stop the video on those flash, you might catch, uh, this is a great pose he did here, his delts were phenomenal. You can catch some of these that I didn't bother to try to catch. If you slow it down and then pause it right at the flash, it will give you a good shot. Wow. This guy was from somewhere uh, in the Caribbean, I think, Eddie somebody I want to say, he was short, looked really good. Back to the uh, awards. Still hanging out with the Olympia crown in anticipation. 
Here's old Earl giving us one last minute shot here. You know, that looks like Frank Zane there, and, and for the life of me, I don't know why I didn't catch him if it was him, and I don't remember that he was in the contest that early, but it sure looked like him. All right, Rick. Yeah, Bill's giving them a few extra shots for their money. Personally, I preferred the physiques under the light, the house lighting, than I did under the spotlight. It was much easier to see, and I hope that the movies come out better. Um, maybe it didn't give quite the uh, uh, shadow effect, but boy, it sure gave you an appreciation for the physique. There's no question there. Looks like another calf shot. I'm going to bet that that was Chet. In fact, you know, they might have done body parts, folks. I stand corrected. They might have done body parts, and he just got the legs. Yeah. Here's Dave. I don't know if he didn't get best chest or best everything. God, he looked good there. See what I'm talking about? The lights, just the house lighting. He, it was really it gave you the ability to appreciate. If you went back and looked, well, it sure looks like Zane, doesn't it? If you go back into the magazines, you'll see those pictures, that 1965 contest. He was a fellow from the Caribbean. I don't know what his name was, I forget. He looked really good that night, and you'll see next year he bulked up and lost all of his cuts. Man, Rick's looking good. All right, here we go. A cut of the Olympia. Here he is, man of the hour, Harold Poole. A few things I remember about Harold. One of them was uh, very athletic. I think he played, he wrestled, ran track. And I don't know if he did football or not, but he should have won the AAU Mr. America, and uh, he didn't. I understand that he had a minor uh Beach. I hate to use the word impediment because it sounds like he couldn't talk, but for whatever, I just heard that the AAU folks thought that maybe that wouldn't be appropriate for him to go out on the speaking tour, so they let him win the most muscular, but they denied him the AAU Mr. America, and he made the jump over to the IFBB. And, of course, once you went to the IFBB, you were banned from the AAU after that. But it was he did a good move, and he won the AAU, I mean, the IFBB America and the uh, Mr. Universe before he came in to compete here at the uh, um, good-looking calves again. No implants there. Barn door lats. Uh, at the end of the evening, uh, he came out, and uh, we were all hanging around waiting, and he just had on a, a suit, and he looked really, really good. Uh, he's tall, you know, athletic-looking. Whoa! There it was, Harold. Hit it. And uh, he really was impressive. Um, uh oh, here we come now. Larry Scott. Now, right here, when he pauses, right there, and he pauses and looks, that's because the noise level was just, just beyond comprehension. Just unbelievable. And uh, these shots here, you'll see all of these. Go ahead and use your VCR and, and stop them and catch some of those. Look at the delts right there. I think I'm. Well, I, I was going to do a little work for you here. Let me see if I can catch one of these. Just. Once again, bear with me on my editing. It was, uh, as I'm doing this, a little bit jury-rigged here. Man, if you can look at those arms. But if I can stop this and catch the flash, oh, shoot, as soon as I try to go ahead, now it gets frustrating. Let me just see if I can get one of these stopped. There you go. Look at those arms. You know, the classic... Narrow shoulders, but whoa, whoa. Give me a break. What can I say? Look at that forearm right there. Look at the left forearm right on your screen. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah.
Whoa. What a shame that we didn't have a quality movie taken like this close up where every, every frame of all of the competitors was like that. Uh, and it's a sad thing. But we got, you know, maybe not even second best, but certainly got third best with this. And I hope it's coming through for you folks. There's another one of his classic shots. You know, that one, yeah, I backed it up because I wanted to catch that one if I can. And I always thought from a geometric progression, if you look at the forearm to the bicep to the deltoid, it's almost like three symmetrical sine waves. Uh, I, I haven't seen that too often. Look at it right there. Um, see if I can catch that flash. My dilemma was I couldn't back up. If I had been able to back up, I wouldn't have had to go through this. I can only high speed. Well, that gives you that, that, that sine wave. And look at the forearm. Look at the forearm there. That's incredible. And, and, and folks, listen to this. Throughout, I said it was thunderous when he started. You've got to imagine, the whole time, the place was just, it was just, I think the term is cacophony. It was just like 10,000 trains were riding through it. They never stopped. The crowd just never stopped. And uh, he was just uh, one pose after another. We were spurring him on. Here we go. Let's see a little bicep action here. Yes, indeed. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Six pack before they call it a six pack. We call it a washboard in our day, remember? Classic double bicep. He's leaving. The crowd does not stop, and he has to come back. He was the only one that was called back for the encore. Now he gives us a few more shots here for our viewing pleasure. And again, just the, the thunderous, thunderous ovation from the crowd. And he gets humble. He says, all right. He says, look, Bud Parker did a great job, and I got to go. Hey, give me a break. <laughs> I'm beat, and I'm sure he was. Now, this is another classic example of these, the, the stage lighting and just getting a real chance to appreciate both their physiques, he and Harold. I, I, I can't get enough. Look at those arms. Look. My God. Talk about the proverbial Easter ham. He didn't want to mess up his quaff. So he took the, the uh, crown off. And uh, Harold congratulated him. Good sport that Harold was. Right there, it looks like Harold's the same height, but there's no question. Harold was much taller. It was just the way he was standing there and the angle that I was shooting. So... There's the pictures. There's a lot of those pictures out there. That shot right there, beautiful. That's it on the legs, Larry. I love it. That one shot he did, they had a shot of that on uh, cover of Muscle Builder. Gosh, he looked good. Joe insisted, so he got to put the crown on. There it was. All right. And he left, and that ended 1965. If you train right and eat right, uh, 